Hello friends, welcome to the video number 29 for the Visual Basic for Applications in Excel series. And well, we're going to continue talking about arrays and in this video specifically, specifically we're going to be looking about multidimensional arrays. And well, uh, just as in the last video, remember we saw how we declare an array just by adding this parenthesis at the end of the name of the variable. And well, thinking that we know how many elements are going to be contained at a rate, I can place the number in here, or as as I place it in here from zero to whatever number it is you need. Um, well, for a multidimensional arrays, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. So in this case, I'm saying okay, in the first dimension, I'm going to have ten elements. Then I just place a comma, and on the second dimension. Uh, I'm going to be having another 10 elements. In this case, I'm making it square. You don't need to. You can actually have, I don't know, just 2 by 10 or whatever the, your case might be. Uh, but just as an example, in this case, I placed 10 elements in the uh, first dimension and another 10 elements on the second dimension. If you need a third dimension, you would just go comma and comma and whatever it is you need, you can make as many dimensions as you need. In this case, we're going to keep it simple and just uh, uh, make it a two-dimensional array. And, well, I'm going to be having here two loops. Uh, I'm nesting this for loop inside of this other one. I'm using four loops again uh, to populate my two-dimensional array. And well, here again, I'm using the i to go from 1 to 10. The j from, again, is pretty much the same thing, to go from 1 to 10. And then I'm saying numbers 1 minus 1, because remember, uh, the index starts at, at 0. The computer is going to be, or VBA is going to be starting counting at 0, like, like we saw in here. Uh, so uh, I wanted to say that the number or uh, the element is stored in numbers, which is my new two-dimensional array. That's how I name it. A zero comma zero. That the first, the very first element of my array, it's gonna be just a multiplication of one by one. And then I want to write that number or that element of my array in cells one comma one, which is gonna be a one. Here, uh, in, instead of range, I'm I'm using this new notation. I don't remember if I have used it in previous videos, uh, but if you put it like this, just sales, uh, it's very very convenient because again, a, a two-dimensional array, you can imagine like having um, a grid like we have, we have here in, in Excel. A one-dimensional array will be just like one, one column or one row. Here we're gonna have a grid. If you put a third uh, dimension, you can imagine uh, some kind of like a cube. And well, if we go to the forward or, or beyond in array, I mean in dimensions, it's going to be pretty, pretty hard to imagine, I guess, at least for most of us. Uh, so just don't try to imagine that. Just keep in mind that you can have as many um, dimensions as you need. And it's just like a new layer for storing more information inside of my, of my array. Um, so well here, for example, again, I'm using the J to uh, loop through the columns. So first, what we are going to be doing is I'm going to be populating the first row uh, moving uh, through the columns. And then we're going to move to the A2 or, or the second row and fill all the columns and so on. So let's do a uh, step by step. So in this case, again, I'm going to start one, one. So I'm going to say, okay, numbers zero, zero, or the very first element in my array is going to be one multiplied by one. And just write that on cells one, one. When you use this, this notation, remember this is the row, this is the, the column. You can invert this if you like. Um, and Again, we're going to be moving on the columns. 
And when we finish, we get to the tenth. Now we start on the second, uh, the second row, and we start filling again all the columns. It's just remember, it's just a multiplication of whatever it is the value of i uh, multiplied by the value of j. So just to finish this, well, let's keep going like this. Just keep press your F8, uh, press, and that's it. Okay, so this is basically how you can declare a two-dimensional array. Again, just you can just keep adding as many um, dim dimensions in your array as you need, and well. Here, for example, remember we saw how to populate. Well, actually, we're doing it here too. Uh, you can be reading and populating your array from data that you already have in here. You will just have like reversed this. You will have something like um, my integers um, i minus one. It's going to be equals to whatever it is in range uh, or in the or the value of the range a one. So. Again, you will have this on this side and this on this side. So you will be reading whatever is the value of this cell and then store it in this, um, in this array and in this index of this array, right? So you can do the same thing for, to, uh, meaning here for two-dimensional arrays, use a nested loop to go a cell by cell, reading cell by cell, and you can be uh, storing this data inside of your of your array, populating your array, and then you can do all sorts of things with that information, and then write it again, do whatever you need. Okay. So in the next video, we're gonna finish talking about arrays. We're gonna be seeing how to declare an array when I don't know how many elements I'm gonna contain there, and I mean, what are dynamic arrays and how to redimension an array in case that I, that I want to modify the size of this array and, well, do some other pretty, pretty useful things with, with our arrays. Okay, so as always, I hope that you find this video useful. Thanks all of you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, uh, share and like the video, and, well, I hope to see you on video number 30.